get started. Um, start a new game. I'm gonna be male. It's gonna be a. Um, you were born years ago in a far away land. Your father was a stepping nomad, like Genghis Khan. You were a child of the steppe born to a tribe of wandering nomads who live in great camps throughout the arid grass grasslands. Like the other tribesmen, your family revered horses above all else, and they taught you how to ride almost before you learned how to walk. You started to learn about the world almost as soon as you could walk and talk. You spent most of your early life as a street urchin. As a boy growing out of childhood, you took to the streets doing whatever you must to survive, begging, thieving, and working for gangs to earn your bread, you live day to day in an idle world, always one step ahead of the law and those who wish you ill. Then, as a young adult, your life changed as you, as it always does, and you became a game poacher. Though the distinguish, distinction fell upon you, somewhere along the way you had become a man, and the whole world seemed to change around you. Dissatisfied with common man's desperate scrabble for a coin, you took to your local lord's own forest and decided to help yourself to its bounties, laws be damned. You hunted stags, boars, geese, and sold precious meat under the table. You cut down trees right under the watchmen's noses and turned them into firewood that warmed many freezing homes during winter, all for a few silvers of course. But soon everything changed and you decided to strike out on your own as an adventurer. What made you take this decision was... Probably the loss of a loved one. Only you know exactly what caused you to give up your old life and become an adventurer. All you can say is that you couldn't bear to stay, not with the painful memories of those you love so close and so painful. Perhaps your new life will not let you forget or honor the name that you can no longer bear to speak. So I'll just pretend like my mom died or something like that. Become an adventurer and then realistic no quitting without saving. Okay, so it looks like an epic thing. Um, let's change this to nine. This to nine. Hopefully that's good, unless I need more agility or something. Three iron flush, because you need that on three power strike. Um, let's put one to um, inventory management. Or two to inventory management and two to trainer. Okay. And then I'll get the um pole arms. So I'm gonna change my name. I think that's a pretty unique name. Just don't like that. Bad. Yeah, it looks more like it. Oh, he's actually a pretty good looking guy. Like that. The beard. There. So he looks like a Mongolian or something like that. You hear about Calradia, a land torn between rival kingdoms battling each other for supremacy, a haven for knights and mercenaries, cutthroats and adventurers, all willing to risk their lives in pursuit of fortune, power, or glory. In this land which holds great dangers and even greater opportunities, you believe you may leave your past behind and start a new life. You feel that finally you hold the key of your destiny in your hands, free to choose as you will and that whatever course you take, great adventures await you. Drawn by the stories you hear about Caldria and its kingdom, you join a caravan to Tulga in the Kurgit Khanate. You came with a caravan crossing the mountains that border Caldria up to on the north and east, bringing spices from faraway lands to trade for wool and salt. The passes were 
still choked with snow, and it was hard going. But at last, at last, you crested a ridge and saw before you the Caldrian steppes. On the sun, on some hill, hillsides, the thin grass of spring was already turning yellow, but the lower slopes of the mountains were still a vibrant green. Herds of sheep and tawny steppy ponies drifted across them, them like clouds, testifying to the wealth of the Khans. From time to time, small groups of horsemen would follow your caravan from a distance, perhaps sizing up how well you can defend the wealth you carried, so it was some relief when you saw the towers of Toga rising up from the plains. You were, are exhausted by the time you find the inn at Toga and fall asleep quickly. However, you awake before dawn and are eager to explore your surroundings. You venture out onto the streets, which are deserted. All of a sudden, you hear a sound that stands the hairs of your neck on end. The rasp of a blade sliding down its scabbard. Okay. Looks like I got a bow and arrow. There we go. The heck? Are you all right? Well, I guess you're alive. At any rate, I'm not sure that we can say the same for the other fellow. That's one less thief you have to trouble our streets at night. Although heaven knows he won't be the last. Anyways, Maybe you can help me with something. Let's talk more inside. Out here, we don't know who's listening. The merchant takes you to his house. Once inside, he stands by the door for a while, checking the streets, and then finally, convinced you have not been followed, comes near you to speak. Okay, let's talk to this guy. Now, let me explain my proposition. We've always had brigands in these hills, driven to banditry by war, debt, or love of violence. Recently, however, they've been getting bolder, leaving their camps in the wild and venturing into town, looking for unwary prey. The watch commander tells us it's because of all the fighting that's going on the frontier. Fewer men to keep an eye on the streets, but I'm not sure what to make of that. It seems to me that the most logical explanation is that these bandits have an ally inside the walls who helps them enter unnoticed and helps them identify particularly tempting targets. Last week, you see, they took my brother. I don't know what my brother was thinking. A lad from these prominent houses out alone after dark and times like these. Well, I suppose you were too, but you're a stranger here, and you didn't know how bad things became. He had no ex such excuse, but he's family, so what can I do? If you don't protect your, your kin, then people start will start thinking that you can't protect your investments either, and I can't have that. No doubt that the gang will soon send word about a ransom, but I don't care to pay it. So here's my proposition. You look like you had a bit of experience with a blade, and more importantly, you must have a bit of fire in your belly, or you wouldn't have come to Caldria to seek your fortune. So here's what I'm asking you to do. Gather a small party, track down these bandits to their lair, and teach them a lesson they won't ever forget, and get my brother back safe. In return, you'll earn my everlasting gratitude and a little bit of silver. What do you say? So Teguta responds, I am interested. You won't be able to do this by this yourself though, you're not Lubu. If you try to and try and take the whole gang single-handedly, the hunter will become the hunted. I'll warrant. You'll first want to round up a group of volunteers. There are always a few lad in the villages around, around here looking for a little bit of work. That's more interesting than tilling the soil or hauling water. They'll follow you if you pay. So take this purse of 100 dinars. Consider it an advance on your reward. Go round, go round to the villages and use the money to hire some help. And I'll reckon that you'll need at least five men to take on these bandits. Very good, sir. I'll collect some men from around the villages. Good, you can find me again in the tavern here in Tolga after you've gathered your group together. Then we'll speak about what to do next. 
Okay, it's just telling us to leave. Um, okay, I don't want to fight that. Okay. Let's visit the tavern. So there's some guy named Firentus here. Let's talk with this guy. I am lost. Lost, says Firentus. Why so gloomy, friend? I have committed the greatest of sins, sir. And it's, it is to my shame that I must appoint you my confessor, if you should like to hear it. I was a captain of a ho of the ho horse. Of, I was a captain of the horse in the service of the Lord here in Tulga, and my brother served with me. But we were both in love with the same woman, a courtesan, a temptress, who played upon our jealousies. My brother and I quarreled. I had drunk too much. He slapped me with his glove, and I spit upon him with my sword. My own brother, my sword arm was stained with the blood of my kin. Do you believe there is hope for a man like me? Can I follow the path of righteousness? Or am I doomed to follow the demons that dwell inside of me? Tegukta responds, You could join us, right wrongs, fight oppressors, redeem yourself, that kind of thing. Yes, you must have been sent by divine providence. Lead me, lead me away from the darkness. I am well practiced in the arts of war, but I beg you, sir, I wish to use my skills to defend the innocent, the pure and the defenseless, not to be a common brigand and wreak more misery than I have already wrought. Happy to be of ser for service, get your, things to get your things together and we shall be on our way. Good, give me a few moments to prepare and I'll be ready to move. So I already got my first guy. Uh, let's start by selling some of this crap here. So, go to the goods merchant, sell that one, try to meet you to last for a while. Now we got some money, so let's leave this one. I'm not sure if I could take on five looters on my own. Um, let's try to head toward the east. Let's head to that town of Nera right there. See if we could find something. Oh, there's a tournament taking place. Um, wait, hold on one second, sorry. So one thing I like to do is I like to create a spreadsheet of the um of the uh of of all the um generals you'll meet. And you'll need the spreadsheet because um You'll need the spreadsheet because you you want to know which generals you want to recruit in your army and things of, things of that nature. So I'm not sure if you can see my spreadsheet on the screen right now. You probably can't, which is understandable. Um, but yeah. So let me join the tournament. Place a bet on myself. 50 dinars. So hopefully I'll win. I mean, you start off with weak stats, so it's, it's highly unlikely, but... Try to sneak up from behind them. There, got one. Ding 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 I'm a man of peerless might. Oh crap. Let's see if I could get that shield over there. There we go. Should help a little bit. So let's see if we can get that guy. Raise our shields. Well, we outnumber him, so we should be pretty good. Yeah, I don't even know what I'm doing there. 
victory is yours. Okay, so let's see. So tier two, please bet on myself. Let's hope we can win this tournament. There, I got one. Like that fool. Don't kill your own teammate, idiot. That's your teammate, dummy. Okay. Got that fool down. some minor damage there. Okay, I've been de dehorsed. Picked up a big sword. Lord, grant me strength. Looks like I knocked down that archer. Time to see if there's any more. Oh, victory is yours. So, fight the next tournament. Looks like it's a three on three battle. You don't want to be lanced from behind, though, so you have to be careful of that. Wait, wait, scum. Okay, just picked up a lance from the ground. I'm gonna do some lancering. The three damage. Oh, crap, I don't know how to get out of first person. Oh, that's your teammate, fool. So obviously their lance is so big that when you get close to them, you know, you you outrange them, basically. Um, let me go back. Tier 4, sure, why not? So I'm using my sh my horse as a shield to protect myself. Okay. Or grant a strength. Okay. Oh crap, I shot my my friend. Shot there. Did 
There you go. Another 100 dinars. Dismounting. So I'm just using my horse as a shield. Because he has a, an advantage, because he has a big shield to protect you. There we go. Got him down. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Alright, we got 2,000 dinars from that, so that's pretty good. We'll go up here. See if we could meet anyone here. There's a lady named Lady Reven. You must be Tigyukta. We have just the honor of watching you distinguish yourself in the recent tournament. Can I help you with anything? To you to replies, my lady, I would like to dedicate my success in this tournament to you. Why, thank you. You are most kind to do so. Anything else? Farewell. So we will see the tavern. Okay. So there's this wandering troubadour. Greetings to you, most noble sir. What is it that you do? I reply. I compose and write songs for the lords of the land and their ladies. Sometimes I sing about war, sometimes about the virtue of kings, and sometimes for the more sophisticated audiences about the virtues of wine. For most audience, however, I sing of love. Can I have answer any other question for you? No, that is all. Do you know of any ongoing feast? So there's one in Jeribi Castle. Oh, there's one in Tulga. What the heck? Okay. Um, let's see. Tell me about the ladies of the realm. Lady Tuam. Yasu. Ruha. Kefra. Duwala. Nadala. I'm not gonna read the whole thing, because, you know. And then Lady Mechet. There we go. And then on my spreadsheet, I'd like to know if I've asked about girls or whatever. <laughs> Sounds stupid, but whatever. So Tolga, there's actually a tournament there. Okay, let's go to Brevedin. So it's evening, uh, take a break break at the castle. Right here. I'm going to recruit volunteers from this village. So even though the merchant of whatever said only, um, you only need five people, you actually want a little bit more than that, simply because um, it's tough earlier on. Oh shoot, see that guy's following you? Yeah, you don't want that to happen. Yeah, we would, yeah. There's no need to, it's better just to pay. It might be cowardly, but we have no chance against them, I'll tell you that right now. So you can talk to these um, tournament masters to see um, to see where they're gonna hold festivals and stuff like that. Um, let's see, Sunos. Okay, I'm only good at certain cities, though. That's just, that's just what I think. set up camp here. Erastus. Necessitas. 
So obviously, if you recognize this, um, if you recognize this um, music, it's from from Rome Total War, and that's because I, I downloaded the mod. During the tournament, I have 50 bucks on myself. Once you have a sword, it becomes a lot easier. Oh, it's my teammate? No, it's not my teammate. How you you start off with like weak weapons like bows and arrows because you really are shafted earlier on. So I have no chance against this freaking horseman. But I can keep up from behind, if need be. There we go. Grab his sword. Or shield, I guess. Then his sword. Thank you, Lord. Beat this guy up. Double team that full. Is that my teammate? Yeah, okay. So you can actually issue orders to your teammates if you want to, but it's not really necessary right now. Okay, you gotta kill that guy. So the one that you want to be careful for is when you see people with lances. So when they when they attack with daggers, they they can't defend. Why can't I start off with a big, big thingy like that? No, they had to give us these freaking things. So my partner fell in battle. Now I have to, I have to pick up his sword. You good? No, 
Now it's just one on ones. You punk. So just zigzag. These guys suck at aiming. There we go. Beat the crap out of them. Oh, if you guys are curious about my... Oh, hold on. Let me, let me just finish this. Oh, see, how can I fight against this guy? There you go. Had to cheat a little bit there, but whatever. So tournaments, you can get a lot of money. You just have to bet high. There we go. Oh, I wanted to show you um, my options. So I have it as as these. Um, let's see, where's the thing? Oh yeah, so here it is. Yeah, so I put it on normal difficulty. I guess difficulty reading 104. I think that's that's as hard as I get. Well, uh, if it's too hard, I don't want to play. I'll be honest. It looks like I found a couple guys here. So let's check out this martyred guy and see what's his problem. Hello. Would you be so kind as to have a cup with me? I'm down to my last five dinars and I'd rather not drink alone. Your last five dinars? What happened to you? It's a tragic tale, sir. A while back, I left Georgia, <laughs> Georgia, Georgia, I guess, with a cavern of goods. I was hoping to sell it all in Sargoth and make a hefty sum. But what do you know? We were ambushed by a party of Kurgut raiders who rode away with most of the horses and goods. And two days later, my own caravan guards ran away with the rest that I had. So here I am, no money and no way home. Well, perhaps I could offer you work. Can you fight? Well, I will confess that I am not a warrior by trade. I am a fast learner, though. I can ride, and I know a fair bit, a fair bit about trade prizes and such. That will do. Good, give me a few moments to prepare and I'll be ready to move. Here's another guy. You there, good man. Be so kind as to fetch me another drink, eh? Hmm, you must be ha you must have me confused with the tavern keep, sir. Oh, my most humble apologies. It is sometimes hard to recognize folk amid the smoke and gloom here. I still cannot believe that I must make my home in such a place. I was my father's first son and his heir, but my mother died and my father remarried. His new wife thought that her son should inherit. She could not move against me openly, but the other day I fed a pot of suet that had been left out for me to one of my hounds, and it kneeled over. I accused my stepmother, but my father, befuddled by her witchcraft, refused to believe me and ordered me to leave his sight. I hope to offer my sword to some worthy captain, as it is the only honorable profession for a man of my birth, apart from owning land. But, in the meantime, I am condemned to make my own bed among thieves, vagabonds, merchants, and the other riffraff of the road. Perhaps you would like to join my company for a while. I would very much like that, sir. I am a gentleman and prefer to fight with the sword and lance. I recognize that you are of lower, of lower birth than I, there is no shame for me to serve under an experienced captain. Presuming, of course, that your followers do not become too familiar with me, I, am I assume that will not be a problem? 
Well, it shouldn't be. I'll have a talk with them. That's very good of you. And before I join, can you lend me 300 dinars that I can buy some proper clothing that befits a gentleman of noble birth as myself? The coat on me has worn down badly due to my recent bad fortune, and I cannot let the commoner, common soldier mistake me as one of their own. Very well, here's 300 dinars. Good, give me a few moments to prepare, and I'll be ready to move. Okay, looks like that's good. Let's see if there's anyone in the back, though. Sometimes there's people up here, but very rarely. No, it's just some empty beds. Oh, is there somebody right here? It's a traveler. Okay, so we, let's look at our meats. Okay, so how many men do we have? Like 34. Oh, that's pretty good. Just need to go to one more on. One more. Uh, so let's meet our first noble. Do I know you? My name is Tugnutia, at your service, sir. I am Boyar Krashak, a vassal of the kingdom of Ayers and the lord of Bazek. Perhaps you are not of noble, gentle birth, but even a converter, be he of sufficient valor, may make himself of may may make something of himself someday. So with a response like that, you know that this guy is a um marshal is a he has a very martial view of life i should say or warrior kind of thing so i don't recommend putting those people in, into your kingdom should you choose to make your own kingdom do i know you i am boyer wooden a vassal of the kingdom of Bayers and the lord of uslam in rebeche well you look like a good enough sort so this this means that this guy's a pretty good guy so Rudin is honorable. Check out Boyar Taisa. Do I know you? I am Boyar Taisa, a vassal of the Kingdom of Ayers and Lord of Old Bourbon. Well, I have not heard of you, but you look like you look of you you have the look of a man who might make of make something of himself someday. Hmm. Okay, I'm not sure which one that is. Hold on, I'm gonna Google it real quick. Wait, hold on, what's this response? Oh crap. Oh well, I'm gonna Google it because I, I have no idea. Um, let's see here. Um, oh, so he's calculating, okay. So calculating is uh, basically evil. So calculate is evil for Tysa. There we go. I am Boyar Mumun, a vassal of the kingdom of Bayers and the lord of Shapur Shite. <laughs> Sorry, forgive me for <laughs> Perhaps you are not of gentle birth, but even a commoner of sufficient value, blah, 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 blah. So this guy is Marshall. He's wearing crappy armor, too. Let me get that one right there. Okay, let's so just rest there for the evening. Got some soldiers ready to upgrade. So let's upgrade them. Let's actually buy some supplies if we can. Because you need to you need to keep your men fed or else they'll get pissed off at you. Okay, good. So I think we could take on those looters right there, but they're too far right now, so. Okay, let's see. Ransom broker. Oh, okay, whatever. Hold on, let me make change my character's face a little bit. Oh uh, yeah, I thought his face looked kind of scrawny. Let's make him big like that. There we go. I want him to be like Mongolian-esque. Based off like Genghis Khan or something like that. 
Okay, let's leave this. Let's head back to the um Boyar Harish. So he's also calculating. So you don't want you don't want people who are calculating martial evil in your kingdom. If you want to build your own kingdom, which you can. Um Well, your Neglig also calculating. Crap. Let's head back to the, um, if you want to talk to that guy, Boyar Brula Noyan. Okay, calculating. Where's the... Oh, what's the stupid thing? Brula, right? Yeah, so he's calculating. So if you can't see, I, I have a spreadsheet open for the um thingy. So you want to visit taverns as much as you can. Because you can find um you could find um people to help you, stuff like that. And if you're looking for something to buy, the first thing you should probably buy is a, a good armor. So that that way you can you can slug off hits and stuff like that easier. Crap. Is my desktop audio not playing through? Oh, whatever. Sorry, I'm just adjusting my um thingy. Let me go to the castle and introduce myself to the um to the lord of the castle, yeah. Lady Marrow House, Tonju Novia. Tonju Noyan, he's Marshall. Trust me, you're gonna meet a lot of people. I don't know how to voice ladies very well. Subbila Noyan is one of my favorites because he's usually a handsome guy. But in this case, he's a dick. Subbila Noyan. Speak quickly if you have anything to say. Speak quickly if you have anything to say, for I have no time to be bantering words with the common soldiers of fortune. What a dick. Get out of here, you dick. Crap. Alright, well I didn't get to fight anyone yet, which is making this playthrough kind of boring, but what can you do? At least I can have some footmen with me. Okay, so we definitely have more than five men for, um... Oh crap. Let's talk to this farmer. My lord? You look like a man of the sword and someone who can help us. Will you hear my plea? What is it? What is the matter, my good man? A band of brigands has taken refuge in our village. They take everything we have, force us to serve them, and do us much evil. If one of us so much as breathes a word of protest, they'll kill the poor spor soul on the spot right away. Our lives have become unbearable. I risked my skin and ran away to find someone who can help us. Why don't you go to the lord of your village? He should take care of the vermin. I did, sir, but our lord's men did not let me see him and said he was occupied with more important matters and that we should deal with our own problems ourselves. Please, sir, you are a man of valor, valor and a fearsome warrior, and you have no doubt many friends and soldiers at your service. If there's anyone who can help us, it is you. Very well, I'll help you. Where is your village? God bless you, sir. Our village is Dusteril. It is not too far from here. Okay, let's go to Dusteril. Okay. Uh, 
Okay, let's look at Duster Row. Where is Duster Row? Okay. The village of Duster Row seems to be flourishing. The fields and orchards are humming with activity and filled with sacks of grain and drying meat, testifying to the productivity of this village's croplands and pasturelands. You remember that this village and the surrounding lands belong to Karakabanoyan and the Kar of the Karagon Khanate. The village is infested with fi by 15 forest bandits. The populace is indifferent to you. Attack the bandits. Let's kick some butt. Okay, so this is our first battle. So we have more than enough men. So you're the command. You have to keep in mind you're the commander of the army. So you, it's up to you to stay alive, to to lead your men into battle. That's fine. In battle, in a battle worthy of song, you and your men drive the bandits out of the village, making it safe once more. The villagers have little left in the way of wealth after their ordeal, but they offer you all you all you can find. So if if you read in the description earlier, it's actually a pretty rich village, and since money is kind of scarce right now, well, I guess we have two thousand, but whatever. I'm just gonna take it as I do. Also, it's a pork, so I can just sell it right away. Some recruits going to footmen. I'm gonna sell that pork right away. Okay, let's talk to the merchant of Tolga. Splendid work! You have hired enough men to take on the bandits. Now, travel. Now, travelers entering Tolga have told us that there is a small group of robbers. Lurking on the outside of the town, I suspect that they are all from the same band, the one, the one that took my brother. Hunt them down and defeat them and make them disclose the location of the lair. Very well, I shall hunt down for the bandits. Okay, well I thought it was going to be something more cooler, but whatever. I'm going to sell that pork, because pork can get rotten in this game, and you don't want rotten crap in your thing. Oh, hmm, let me think of something else, whatever. Sell that there. So even though I'm wounded, I'll, I'll fight them anyway. What do you want? I've been looking for you. Tell me where you keep your prisoners and I'll let you go. Ha! Those prisoners are on, only going free if you pay their ransom. Did you pay their, bring their silver? No, I brought steel. You have encountered a band of robbers. You have 32 troops fit for battle against their four. Charge the enemy. Okay, let me improve my character a little bit. So I'm not very good at the bow and arrow, clearly. It just takes practice, really. Oh, look, Fire Ent has killed one already. Yeah! See, it did nothing in that battle, but whatever, it doesn't matter. Ah, spare me, spare my life. Let me go, and I'll go far off. From here and learn an honest trade, and you'll never hear from me again. I'll spare your life, but in exchange, I want information. 
Either of you, you or your mates have kidnapped the brother of a prominent merchant in town. Tell me where you're hiding him, and I'll give you my word that you'll stop troubling the people of these parts. Uh, and you can go free. Oh, bless you, sir. Bless you. We've done the lad no harm. We've been keeping him in our heart out, heart out, in, in our hideout near Dash Bing Ba. I'll describe the area in detail so there's no mistaking it. So you get improved armor, thankfully, because the armor you get really sucks. And then you just sell that crap. Alien comes, approaches Tigyukta. Sir, I hope you do not mind me telling you, but in my opinion, Marnid the merchant does not know his place. During that last battle, he cut in front of me to engage a foe whom I had marked clearly for my own. I appreciate that he is willing to risk his life in battle, but that alone does not make a gentleman. He is not of noble birth, and his family wealth comes from commerce and ursery. He may fight with us as an auxiliary, but should not attempt to steal glory from his betters. In response, Teguta replies, Martin is a valued member of this company. I don't want you picking any more fights with him, dick. So I'm going to actually boot him out from my thingy. Yes, my good sir? We need to separate for a while. Oh, really? Well, I'm not just going to wait around here. I'm going to, do, to, to go to towns to look for other work. Is that what you want? That's right. We need to part ways because you're a dick. Well, I'll be off then. Look me up if you need me, dick. What a dick. Alright, anyways, let's, let's get out of here. I don't think I'm healthy enough to do the um, task there, though, unfortunately. So, you found that where they hid my brother? Splendid. I'll, I'll flatter myself that I'm a fine judge of character, and you'll, and you'll look to be the man who could get things done. Now go out there and save his unworthy hide. Very well, I'll go now to attack the Banyan's lair and find your brother. So I'm wounded right now, so it's just not wise right now. So I'm just actually going to spend the night here. You sp if you spend the night in the uh, towns, you can heal faster, so... What you really want is to look for a companion that can that can heal you quickly. Let's uh Do I know you? Okay, so this guy's actually a dick. What a dick. You approach the hideout. The looters don't appear to have spotted you yet, and you could sneak away unnoticed. The difficult approach to the site down a narrow def defile means you'll, that you'll only have a handful of troops in your party will be able to join the attack, and they'll be unable to bring in their horses. If your initial attack fails, the looters will be easily be able to, to make their escape and disperse. Do you wish to attack the hideout or wait for another location? I'm gonna wait for just a second. I just want to re, uh, re, um, redo my um, army comp a little bit. Oh, I need to actually give Martin something. See, his crap really sucks. There we go. Better than nothing. Okay, I'm attacking the hideout. Wish me luck. Lord help us all. Yeah, fuck. What's Marna doing though? So I'm issuing orders, I'm issuing them to follow me. Let's see if we can get this done. It's already 12.17, so I really need to sleep soon. Taking some z -Quil. I'm gonna pop go to sleep, hopefully. I think I drank a little bit too much coffee this morning. Okay, I'm definitely not Legolas. <coughs> guys, back me up! Freaking guys, don't be a wall behind me. You see them freaking charging at me. Go. 
I couldn't I couldn't backstep like I usually do. Freaking game. Pissing me off. I'm a horrible archer. Oh well. That's what I'm paying you guys for. Do the work for me. See if we could take down those last two guys. My men are kind of morons. Freaking dummies. Oh crap, he killed my footman. There's a guy come here. Oh, there's the murderous brother. Thank you, thank you for rescuing me from those fiends. Did my brother in Togo put you onto their track? Yes, I told him I would find you. I advise you to return to your family as quickly as you can and be careful on the road. With their retreat cut off, the looters fall one by one to your determined attack. Their hideout and their ill-gotten gains are as yours. As yours, huh? Okay, whatever. Let's do this. Nomad boots right there. Ah, oh, that's good. There we go. Kind of junk, but whatever. Beggars can't be choosers, Mike. I mean, bro. See if we could equip our men with crap. That guy really needs a mask because he's so freaking ugly. <laughs> Sorry, I'm, I'm being a bit of a dick, I know. Um, let's head back to Tolga. Crap. I'm not sure if I'm ready or not. Okay. So when you're fighting against, um, when you're fighting against, um, horses, just stick together. There we go. 
Oh, come on, guys! Freaking arrow. Freaking game. Oh, well, that's what I get for sucking so far. <laughs> Let's take a look here. This one's fast, at least. I could give that bow to Marnid, at least. Okay, yeah, I suck really badly there. It happens though, so whatever. Okay, you not we're not gonna be able to make it from those guys. I'd slit your throat for a trinket. Freaking punk. Oh wow, they the kingdom of Rodox, they lost their king. Well, my brother is home safe. I'm not sure what to do with him. Maybe pack him off to a, to a university outside called Caladria? Calradia. That way, if he gets knocked on the head in the street mall, no one can say that it's my fault. But that's not your problem. Here's the rest of your award. It was well earned. The money is most welcome, and I'm glad to be of service. Good. Now, are you interested in making some more? Possibly. What do you need? Remember how I told you that the bandits had an ally inside the walls? I tell- I think I know who it is. The captain of the watch, no less. Some months ago, this captain, seeing the amount of profit we merchants were making from the trade across the frontiers, decided to borrow some money to sponsor a caravan. Unfortunately, like many who- like many who are new to commerce, he failed to realize that great profit only comes with great risk. So he sank all his money into the most expensive commodities, and of course his caravan was captured and looted, and he lost everything. What a dummy. As a consequence, it seemed that our captain turned to villainy to recoup his fortunes. I suppose that I'd do the same if- if, the heavens forbid, I ever face indebtedness and ruination. Now, any watch captain worth his salary will have a few thieves and robbers on his payroll to inform them on, on the rest. But our captain decides to employ these dicks wholesale. He brings them into the towns and lets them do as they will and takes a share of their take. You've heard of the poachers turned to game keep gamekeepers? Well, in the fortunate land of Caldria, sometimes gamekeepers will turn poachers. Luckily, there are still a few brave, honest souls in the watch who told me how he works. Now, here's my plan. I could bring this to the attention of Sandra Khan, Lord of the City, but that would mean an inquiry, my word, against the captains, and witnesses can be bought and evidence can be destroyed, or maybe the whole thing will be forgotten if the enemy comes across the border again, and all I'll get from my trouble is a knife in the ribs. In times of war, you see, a king eye wanders far from his domain, and his subjects suffer. So I've got another idea. I've got a small group of townsfolk together, some men in my employ, and some others who've lost relatives to these bandits, and will storm the captain's home, bring him in chains before Sanjan Khan, and hopefully with a few captured bandits to explain how things stack up. All I need now is someone to lead my little army into battle, and I can't think of anyone better than you. So what do you say? How do I know you're telling me the truth? Oh well, I suppose it's possible that I found a, a dozen bandits who are willing to give their lives to give a passing stranger a false impression of life in old Tulga. Well, I, I guess you can't really know if my word is good, but I reckon you've learned by now that my money is good, and there's another hundred dinars, or maybe a little bit more, that's waiting for you if you'll do this, if you'll do me this one last little favor. So what do you say? Um, I'm sorry, this is too much, too fast, I need time to think. Right, I can keep my men standing by. If you let this go too long, I then I suppose I'll have to finish this affair without you. But I would be most pleased if you could be part of it as well. For now, 
take what time you need. And the reason I'm taking time is if you look at my HP, yeah, that's not really very good. But I can sell all this crap that I, I just thingy. So that's the good part, really. Oh, wow, that's really good. So I'm going to buy that. But like I said, if you guys want, you should really just go for armor. Because that's usually the best. Best early investment in the game. At least at the start. I need to buy some... Some arrows, though. Yeah, definitely don't have the money for that one. Oh, shoot. They don't have those crappy arrows. Whatever. I need to outfit my men anyway. So I'm gonna give it to him. Give him a chip axe instead. And then the sword could be just a... Um, a backup, rather. Tattered. Tattered, okay, whatever. Tattered. Okay... That guy's ugly, though. Okay, this guy, I want to make him archer. And then I'm going to give him better equipment than that crap that he has on currently. Oh, I didn't know he could ride. Oh yeah, he said he could ride early on. I just wasn't paying attention because I'm a noob. Alright, get that crap out of there. Probably do it like this. There we go. I can sell all these crappy hats. So I'm probably going to need like two days to rest up at least. Okay, yeah, you, you have to pay fees to your men. You know, which makes sense. So don't feel bad if, if they lose their lives and stuff like that. Because it, it happens. Okay, so this guy's a dick. That notation in my um in my uh journal, so to speak. So what I'm trying to do really is I'm trying to find um I'm trying to find a uh, good um. Oh, this guy's always a dick. Yeah, this guy's always a dick. In every game, Balir Noyan is always a dick. So I need to re re replenish my men. definitely gonna take that castle it's always so funny to me because it's um in my opinion the uh, kurgerts they're like one of the worst um like they have such crappy units and but then on their own like they usually conquer a large portion of the world without any help which always just fascinates me how's the, how's that even possible
Oh crap. Okay, I'm gonna actually I actually have to sleep now, so we'll continue on. Um I gotta have to remind myself that there's a farmer. You know what? I'll actually do it right now. Ah crap. Ah dang it. Never mind. Um uh, you'll see what I mean. Um but yeah, I'm gonna end the broadcast here. Hopefully you guys gotta see some insight into warband and all that crap. Yeah, so see you later. Bye.